What makes you stand out from other sneakerheads? Like, oof. Um, I feel like a few things, honestly. Uh, first and foremost, I think that I'm relatable to. Like, I have a lot of people aspire to own a sneaker store and and those and and like that type of situation. And having that in New York, New Jersey area, a lot of people look at that and say like. That's a dope thing. I want to do that when I get older. So I feel a lot of kid, little kids aspire to doing something like that. But they don't really know behind the scenes how hard it actually is to do those things. Yeah. But that's, that's one of the things. Also, you know, I've developed a lot of connections and friendships with a lot of people out here that you know, are, are big. Like you know, Clark Kent, that's one of my dudes. You know what I mean? And you know, I, I try to keep my friendships and, and my relationship with people the same way they would keep it with me. And I always try to keep it 100 with everybody. Of course. So I feel like I'm a really stand up, honest dude when it comes to this whole like sneaker game type of thing. You have a lot of people out here who are frauds. You got a lot of people who, who just do things for their own benefit. Of course. You know what I mean? And, and, and it's one of those things where I respect my friendships and my relationship I made with more people than the actual sneakers. Like that, that's more important to me. Like how we were just talking about my boy with the, the cleaner. Yeah. Like that's one of my closest friends. And I met him through sneakers. I met a lot of good people through sneakers. So I feel like a lot of people relate to me when it comes to that. And also like, you know, I host a lot of the shows and stuff that are out here. So, you know, all these little kids, they wanna like, I wanna have a collection like you one day. I wanna have it. They don't understand that this took 15 years. Oh, like man. for 12, well, not nah, 2007, I won the international sneaker uh, battle, that Funk Flex show in Connecticut. But before that, for like eight or nine years, I didn't get any recognition for sneakers. I did this because I love sneakers. It had nothing to do with like, I want you to give me credit for what I'm doing. Yeah. I was doing it because I really liked it. So I feel like that too, like they know I come from a genuine place. Like I'm not coming into this, like I don't put sneakers on Instagram to show off or to be like, haha, I got these and you don't. It's more like I'm sharing my passion and, and, and my experiences with the culture through Instagram, through pictures and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So I, so I feel like I'm a lot more relatable than some of these other people that are out here, you know? Yeah, on top of you wearing- On top of, yeah, I wear everything. That's another thing too. A lot of people respect that I wear, like, you know, I wear one-on-one -on -one shoes. I wear one or two shoes. It, it doesn't, it's not like I'm not gonna put the shoe on my feet, you know? So is anybody else in the game that you that you can say is, is like really, really killing it? I mean, everyone knows Kenny on the West Coast, perfect pair. I mean, he's a monster. He's a beast. Um, there's a lot of people, bro, that deserve a lot of credit that are out there that maybe people don't know that much about. Dependable J, I don't yeah, know if you nah, ever heard he, of him. He's crazy. I mean, in terms of like sneakers and stuff, he's probably one of the best to ever do it in the PE game. The PEs and samples and stuff that he has, is, it's beyond crazy. Uh, another dude, Croatian style, he's from uh, LA area. He owns uh, Project Blitz. Okay. I got to meet him in Arizona, whatever. We chopped it up for a little bit. I mean, he's been serious out here for the as long as I can remember. Um, phase two, all my people that are in the tribe and whatever else, everyone, you know, that's over there. I mean, East Coast, obviously, you got Mayor, you got Clark Kent. Um, trying to think, you put me on the spot, but there's, there's, you know, I don't want to not mention somebody that's that that I'm cool with, but I mean, they know, know it's all love. Yeah, they know, you know it's all love, exactly. But like, you know, those are the people that I think off the top of my head. I mean, if there was anybody's collection that I personally admire the most, I'd say it's Dependable J. I mean, his, he posts up stuff that he says you haven't seen in 10 years and I haven't taken out of the, you know, the box in 10 years. You know what I mean? And it's yeah. like, I didn't even know that shoe existed. And for somebody like me to say that, that's... That's a lot. That's like, yeah, you know what I mean? That's, that's, that's definitely, it's, it's, it's a weird situation. We pull stuff out and be like, yo. Or I'd be like, I remember seeing that when I was a little kid or whatever, you know, he's older than me. So I remember seeing that when I was a little kid and then, you know, he'll, he'll bust out some crazy shoes or he'll bust out the whole entire... Olympic set that all the Olympic players wore, you know what I mean, when they won the, the gold medal and stuff yeah, like that. Crazy. I mean, for me personally, I, I only buy shoes in my size that I could wear. People hit me up all day, like, oh, I got this shoe for sale, I got that shoe for sale. I only buy what I could wear, size yeah. 9 to 10. I, I mean, I buy a lot of other stuff for the store, but for me personally, like, I don't own any shoes that are not my size. For my own personal collection, that's just how I am, but I respect what he does. Like, he owns all these crazy PEs, but that's his thing, that's like his, that's his idea niche, of a yeah. collection. Yeah. You know what I mean? And my idea of a collection may be different because I wear my shoes, but I still respect what he does. Yeah, Sneaker Sensei is the same way. When we oh, that's my dude him. too. See, that's another person I would have forgot, but he, see like another person, he, like we linked uh, probably six, eight months ago now, and it's been all up since, and like, I didn't realize how much 
he's done for sneakers. Like in terms of like what he's accomplished until he asked me like three weeks ago after I did a Jordan brand interview um, at 166 that he was like uh, on the mic there. He's like, come through, we'll do an interview. It was like, cool. Then like uh, maybe two weeks ago, he hit me up. He was like, yo, send me a bio. I never made a bio, you know what yeah. I mean? This is sneakers, you know what yeah. I mean? What do you mean? Send you a bio, like, <laughs> like I got this shoe, what do you mean? So he sent me his and I read it. I'm like, damn dog, you've done a lot. Like yeah. I respect that. Like, like I never realized like how far this could really take you, but like he made a career out of this before it was really like popping. Popping, exactly. So that, you know, he's another dude like Sneaker Sensei is a beast out here. Then people don't know about his collection because he really don't post like that. He don't care. He's not out here taking on foot shots. He's not doing anything. like. I go out and take pictures with my photographer, but my photographer is one of my closest friends. Mm -hmm. So like we do it and we have fun. Like I'm not out there every day, like, you know, kicking my feet up and yeah. shit like that. Like, I, <laughs> like, and this is just, most people on Instagram are not posting really what they wore that day. Let's just keep it real. You know what I mean? And I, I, fall, I fall victim to that too. But like, I don't say like, this is what I wore today. You're and just, then, this, is, this is the shoe. This is the shoe. So like, I'll take, a few pairs of, uh, of shoes, I'll take pics with them just to post up, and then I'll post them over time or whatever else. I mean, in my computer, I probably have a hundred shoes that I haven't posted yet. So I, when I get around to them, I post them, you know what I mean? Because that's just, it's one of those things like, if, if you really have a lot going on, which I do have a lot going on, it's very hard to go out every day and take pictures of the shoes that you've got course, on your feet. Of course, You know what I mean? Especially link up with somebody else who's dope with the camera that could do that for you. Because, you know, setting it up and the, yeah, with the, it, the remote and all that stuff, it takes time. It's like time. a job. It's, yeah. it's like a job, exactly. And, like, I, I have a lot of other things going on where, like, I can't just sit here and snap photos all just day. Just for Instagram. Yeah, just for Instagram, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Holy Grail sneakers in your collection right now, what would they be? Uh, Space Jam 11s. Uh, all white ones. Yeah. I got, like, eight pair of all white ones. I all white a, ones? Yeah, all white Jordan ones. I got... Eight pair of those, just all the same ones. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm a huge Bear fan, and I've waited my entire life to talk to you. Can you literally say anything to me? Uh, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>